personality, character development for teens. I'm Gloria Starr, and I created the modern day finishing school for teens all over the world. If you think back to your teenage years, remember what a struggle it was to find out who you were. And as we grow into becoming teenagers, we sometimes become disrespectful of our family and our friends. So teens need guidance, and many times they won't take this advice from their parents. So, this special finishing school for teens is generally a two-day training program hosted in major cities all over the world. The ideal group size is from 10 to 20 or 30 people. That way people get lots of attention. And teens struggle with many of the same things, so these are the components of the finishing school, personality, and character development program that I've created. Here's looking at you. What does your image really say about you? How to dress for the in look without shocking your parents. Personality style and your style and how do the clothes end up working for you and your desired outcome? What do they really say about you? It is true that first impressions are lasting impressions. And we want to work with the teens for polish, poise, presence, and posturing. Posture shows confidence, and that's what they need, to exude confidence when they have very little confidence inside as they try to discover themselves at their best. So we work on the sure fire, confidence builders. We encourage them not to dumb down to their friends and show respect to others and understand about leadership qualities and how that will enhance their personal presentation. Good manners begin at home. It's about understanding and recognizing the authority and the fact that parents are paying for everything and young people need to add value to the family dynamics, show respect and make contributions that add to the family values that the parents so desperately want to teach their children. Eat and dine for acceptance. Many people in our fast-paced society have a quick meal in front of the television, and this doesn't teach anything about proper etiquette and manners. So, we do the breakfast dining, the lunch, the formal dining with all of the cutlery and glasses, and teach them how to eat difficult foods. Also during the dining lesson, we teach about conversation starters and how to respond to questions that you may not wish to answer. We talk about what is important at the dining room table and things that you can speak about and things that you cannot. Oh, so many different things that we talk about. Respect is also earned, and when they make a contribution to the family dynamics, then the parents can begin to trust them as they begin to find their way in the world. We talk a lot about communication skills, how to answer the phone properly, how to use email and texting and the BB messaging and the iPad. We teach them all the kinds of things that they need to know that would add value to their life and begin to be a contributing member of society. So conversation mastery. How do you ask an open-ended question? How do you shake hands? How do you show respect with the distance far or close to someone? How do you address a person that's older than you? How do you address someone of the opposite sex? How do you act and interact and get special help from the school teachers when you're struggling with a different project that maybe your parents don't even know how to answer? So all of those things are important as we arm those young people of all over the world with the strategies that will help them be their personal and professional best. Ace those grades, get an opportunity to be invited to many of the best prestigious schools, and become contributing members of our society. I'm Gloria Starr, teaching teenagers all over the world in major cities, personality, character development, through my modern day finishing school for teens.